All right, let's take a look at the guys who made it through for this episode. First up, we have student and former personal trainer, Augustine Pang. All that gym training helped put him through to the tower stage. Yes, it did. Rock climber Sheikh Amarudin was the second guy to qualify for the tower. The 19-year-old Tomasic Polytechnic student completed the course in 1 minute and 47 seconds. And a father of three, an SCDF rescuer, and now a Sasuke Tower finalist. Our determined contestant, Ahmad Faisal, will be looking to conquer the tower in record time. Boya Kasha. And last but not least, Chris Kirkpatrick. Why did I just say that? It's actually Kirkpatrick makes his way to the finish in a steady fashion with his cool tats, ripped bod. He's definitely a guy to watch for the finals. And let's check out the leaderboard. We are locked and loaded. It is Sasuke Singapore, and I will tell you yep. what. What, Mike? I think we're going to have some awesome contestants in the weeks ahead. You know what, Mike? I think you're absolutely right. Personal trainer Augustin Pong holds the fastest time, and judging by his time, it's going to be hard to beat. Definitely going to be hard to beat, but judging what happened in Series 1, we were all surprised. Mm. You know what I mean? When Rifty came in there and got oh. empty. So <laughs> you never know what could happen on Sasuke Singapore, but for sure we will see more splashes, thrills, and spills. That right is here. a promise. So you have to come back and see the next episode next week. We want to see you here as well, here on Sasuke Singapore. Till then, I'm Hamish. I'm Kasem. <laughs> We're out of here. Whoa. <laughs>